He got the whole world in his hands. 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 He got the little drag queen in his hands. He got the little drag queen in his hands. He got the drag queen in his in his hands. Growing up in Mississippi, I grew up in the church, honey. I knew that I was gay and people questioned me about that, but I realized over the years, doesn't matter what religion you may be, it's about being a good person. <laughs> Shantae, you pray with me, Sister Mary Silky. Can I get an amen? Yeah. Today, we're gonna talk about the 11th commandment. Thou shall not lie. Too much lying going on around here, honey. Tell the truth and shame the devil. You'll be in the dressing room lying. You'll be at the club lying. You bet your home lying. You'll be on Facebook lying. But Heavenly Father, please forgive them. They know that they're lying. And lying is just ridiculous. Amen. Let's see what the word got to say about it. In the book of Proverbs, it says, truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment, honey. But for a moment. Lying is bad because it gives false pretenses of who you really are. In our community, we always try to put on for somebody. Some of you be on the grinders, talking about your five, nine, your muscular built, that you hung. Only thing was hung was Jesus, honey. Some of you have auditioned to get on RuPaul's Drag Race. Some of you are submitting photos that have been photoshopped to the gods. And some of you are getting on that camera and your face do not match those photos. You are lying. The work of the devil. Y'all gonna come on out with your lying. Come on. Come on out! That nasty, filthy lying you doing. Nobody likes a liar. Come on out, honey. No more. Get that old devilish spirit out of you today. Come on out. Stop all that lying. Lying is bad because you got to keep adding stories to make your story add up. You forget some of your lies. And we like, girl, we don't believe you. If you lie, you can't be in a dressing room with me because I'm scared. You lie, you'll steal. Come on, somebody. I prefer to be in the dressing room with a girl that told me she boosted her whole wardrobe. You know why? Because I go to watch my stuff. Now watch it like a hawk. When you lie, you lose that trust. And when you lose everybody around you, and there's no one around you, you come back trying to lie to get back in. But nobody would believe you. In the words of Maya Angelou, if somebody tell you who they are, believe them. And I believe you that you was a liar. Why lie about what you got and what you have when you really can become that? Don't you know when you lie, you basically tell the universe you're not ready to go up a few notches? Don't you want to progress? Don't you want to be better? Stop lying. I don't lie anymore, because when I was a kid, I learned that lying got me nowhere but bigger pants. My mom would say, how many pieces of chicken you ate? I used to say, two, knowing good well that I had four pieces of chicken. Just lying. Then the older I got, the bigger I got. So now I don't lie no more. I just tell you, I like to eat. Now it's time for the church announcements. Attention potential drag queens who have auditioned for season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Two thirds of the audition tapes have been thrown away because they were full of lies. Woo! I'll take off my glasses on this one, honey. Come to find out Sister Shaniqua is not allergic to mustard seeds. She just didn't like Sister Sharon's potato salad. She has quoted, 
it is nasty. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. And remember, shade unto others if they have shaded unto you. <laughs> Be hung like Jesus. Oh my God. This have way too much flavor to be that thin.